no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So today we're starting out the series here on um, Autumn Oaks. I am currently sitting here in the Versatile 900 with the John Deere 2410 chisel plow hooked to the back. We're up here on uh, one of these strips, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work. As you can tell, this tractor is dirty, so is the chisel. Um, I have cultivated... Uh, this field, this field, and then fields 10 and 11 up here. Um, the reason I say this field and this field is because they don't actually have numbers on them, as you can see. <coughs> um, so the fields that we're going to be running are going to be all of these strips here. Uh, we're going to be planting corn in these strips. And then we've got um, these two fields, 10 11 and 9 uh, which we are going to run wheat in and then uh, like I said all of the strips here are going to be corn and then uh, this field here right next to the farm and then field 2 which is this one here next to the dairy farm and then field three which is right here and then this one uh, here as well so those are the fields that we're going to be running uh, obviously we have to cultivate everything before we can start planting um, and another thing too that I did do is got a this uh, Brantner trailer it's basically got three triggers on it uh, there's a seed trigger back here, dry fertilizer trigger over here, and liquid fertilizer trigger on the other side. So we have that that we will be using to fill our um, planters as well as our sprayer uh, when it comes time for that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, start cultivating this field here. Um, and see if we can't uh, get through all this stuff as fast as possible. Uh, it's not taking me very long. It's only taken an hour to cultivate those other four fields. Um, and one of them I cultivated twice because I, w I was going to try using the stubble cultivator. But uh, after a little bit I decided I'm not going to do it that way right now. And so just kind of decided against that for the time being anyways so um, yeah I did kind of consider uh, maybe plowing all these strips together taking out this alfalfa that's in the center but if we get into cattle at some point then we're gonna kind of want that so uh, I mean I would like to get into cattle at some point if uh, you guys want to see cattle um, and we can look into getting into that at some point or another. Um, I mean, we have money. Uh, we do have quite a bit of loan to pay back as well, so we'll just kind of have to see how things go here. Um, yeah, so we're going to be running wheat, corn, and soybeans for this season. Maybe we'll switch it up uh, next season and throw in like some sunflowers or something. We'll see. Um, kind of just kind of see what happens next season, I guess. Uh, I got a lot of feedback on uh, whether or not you guys wanted to see a video on my truck. Um, got a lot of stuff saying yes, do one. Um, I'm recording this currently. It is Sunday the. 11th uh, you guys are seeing this on Friday the uh, 16th um, so at the moment I don't have that video made but I might by then we'll see uh, if only this thing was just a little bit bigger where we could make this field in two passes that would be so nice but 
But um, yeah, so I will get that video made if I haven't done it already uh, by the time you guys see this video. Uh, but we will just have to see. <coughs> So yeah, um, but I will get that video get out to you guys at some point, hopefully soon. Um, as well as maybe some other videos in the future, we'll see. I know I got, uh, back when I did a day in my life video, uh, when I went and bought like a new toolbox and some tools, and uh, did that kind of stuff, I got a lot of people saying I should do more of those. Uh, the only bad thing about that is, like during the week, um, I'm pretty much, I'm up at 5.30 in the morning, I get dressed, I start my truck, I eat, I either eat breakfast at home, or when I stop at the gas station on my way to work, I get uh, something to eat there, you know, like a muffin, or uh, grab like a Pop-Tart, or something like that there, or whatever, uh, sometimes I'll grab stuff there, or sometimes I'll eat at home. Uh, and then I get my stuff at the gas station and I go over to work and sit in the parking lot for about 10-15 minutes and listen to my stereo and then uh, I walk inside, clock in and walk into the shop and wait for the first appointment. Um, and usually it's about 6.30 by the time I get back to, or I get over to the uh, shop and so I usually sit there for, like I said, 10-15 minutes until, you know, court, well, about 15 to 20 minutes it's usually about quarter to 7 650 uh, that I uh, head inside because uh, I work at 7 o'clock and then at noon I head home uh, eat lunch quick head back and get back to work and then at 4 o'clock I get off work and come home sometimes I'll come home anyways other times I'm off doing something else it's kind of varies so usually not much going on that is worth filming but uh, I may do one just to kind of show you guys my uh, routine day pretty much um, and you guys will be able to see that uh, unfortunately I can't really record when I'm at work because um, with having customers cars and stuff like that uh, you know it just kind of wouldn't wouldn't work have to have customers permission the company's permission and all that stuff and I wouldn't even want to mess with that uh, for those of you that don't know I work at a Chevrolet dealership or Chevy dealership um, I always say Chevy but some people don't like that they like saying Chevrolet um, but I work at a Chevy dealership I am a quick loop technician meaning I work with like changing oil and uh, work with tires and other uh, small items that we can take care of that they don't have to go over to the service shop for so uh, definitely keeps me busy uh, working 7 to 4 Monday through Friday and then occasionally working a Saturday as well so keeps me pretty busy doing that and I am kinda trying to find something else to do uh, to make a little extra money to do in uh, my spare time uh, you know whenever I'm not at work basically and uh, basically a job to do outside of my job uh, make a little extra money I am in the process of saving up for a new pickup um, you know, buying a, I plan to buy a Chevy, uh, Silverado 1500, and, uh, there are quite a few of those at work, obviously, and we do get discounts on vehicles, so, uh, definitely would be most likely buying one from there, but, uh, it's just saving up the money for it first, um, so I'm in the process of doing that, um, some of the guys and I were also talking about, uh, getting our own shop to kind of work on our vehicles in so uh, if we did that I'd be able to take video of you know like doing work to my truck uh, I do have a few items I need to do to it yet um, a few repairs I uh, the one 
I'm, you know, both of them, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, I'd be able to do them even with these guys. Um, it'd probably be better off just having, taking it to work and having them work on it or taking it someplace else and having it done. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll get into that in that video uh, where I talk about the truck some more. Um, I am kind of getting back into some modding as well. Uh, I was looking at my Turbo Squid uh, order history the other day and found that there was a few models in there that I had purchased a while ago. Uh, and I had to wait for the licensing to be approved or whatever because they're Ford models. Um, and one was a GMC. And so I had to like wait for their the licensing stuff to go through. And uh, I had never gone back and looked at it, so um, I didn't realize that it had been approved and I could download them and I found that out. So I did download them. Uh, the GMC, I started working on it, but found out that there was some kind of issues in it that I didn't really want to deal with. Um, it was mostly with the tires. Uh, there was some issues with the model too that I just... I didn't really want to deal with them, um, and but then uh, before I started recording this video, actually, because I had to charge my headset. Um, but uh, before I started recording, I was working on one of them. Uh, one is a 2010 uh, Ford F350 Super Duty. Uh, I started working on that one. Started separating separating out the pieces and stuff, um, and. Uh, started kind of messing with it a little bit I got like the uh, rims and tires separated and I have like the undercarriage uh, separated out uh, started working on all of like the trim pieces so the door panel the door handles uh, the keyless entry panel um, or not keyless entry but like the key code to unlock the vehicle uh, the power stroke emblem uh, and then the F350 label uh, started working on some of that got the windows separated all that kind of stuff uh, I may put out a video of it we'll see um, I do have there are a couple of Chevy trucks on turbo squid as well that I uh, was looking at um, I found like a couple 2500s on there a 3500 which looks exactly like my dad's 2500 that he just bought so I plan to buy that truck and then just adjust the emblems um, have it you know be a 2500 with a duramax in it and um make it look like my dad's truck basically because that would be pretty neat um now obviously turbo squid models purchasing them that i'm not releasing them um i for those of you that don't know i don't release anymore i gave that up a long time ago um just no point in it for me really uh, or in my mind um, it's not worth taking the time to work on something, put it out to the public, and have it totally screwed up. That's just my opinion on it. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going to like that, but I don't care. So, um, that's just me, I guess. <coughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, I got a couple questions on, like, farm toys. Um, my... I packed all those up a couple months ago now, uh, so there's nothing to do a farm toy update on. Uh, I packed them all up. I just I never used them. They were just taking up space, and so I packed them away and have them all in a couple of boxes and a couple of bags sitting in my closet. Um, the Kus the Kister. Kister, that's how you say that. Uh, the Kister Farms map, I haven't touched it in a while. Uh, I do plan to continue working on it and try and finish it. I just, I haven't even done that. I haven't modded lately, I haven't played this game lately. Uh, I mean, recently I've started playing again, but for a long time I didn't do anything. Uh, if I was playing a game, I was usually playing Gold Rush. Um, so, that was about the most I did, I just didn't have any interest in any projects or anything like that, but I am 
I am going to get started back on that kind of stuff at some point or another. Um, as you can tell, I don't have my wheel set up. Uh, I had put my G27 wheel, uh, got that set up because I was playing some American Truck Sim a while back. But I got tired of that and I actually uninstalled American Truck Sim and uh, I uh, put my G27 away and I just never went back and uh, got the farm sim wheel set up so um, it is kind of nicer being able to kind of sit closer to the desk though so um, I might put it back you know put my SciTech wheel back uh, up on my desk at some point we'll see uh, but for the time being I'm kind of enjoying not having it. Um, oh, that's a little better. It does, however, though, feel uh, nice to be getting back into videos again. Um, I mean, I enjoy making them, but... Uh, to go back to making them every single day just would not happen. There's no way uh, that I could do that anymore. Um, you know, doing it the way that I am now, having videos on the weekends, is kind of going to be hit and miss. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do my best to have them out every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but uh, there may be times where that just doesn't work. So. Uh, we're just going to kind of have to play it by ear here in a way. So we're actually knocking out a lot of ground pretty quick here. Uh, this tractor can run at a decent speed and we got a pretty decent sized cultivator on. So uh, should have no problem having uh, all this tillage done within a few days. Uh, maybe next weekend we'll be starting on the planting. We'll see. Uh, I may do some, you know, decent amount of off-camera work so that it's not just constantly tillage for, you know, like two weekends or something like that. Um, but we'll see kind of how, kind of how things play out. These strips definitely are. Uh, fairly small Let's get a check and see what we got left for time here All right, 12 minutes so we're just about 20 minutes in so that's not too bad actually uh, knocked out two full strips so far we'll have this one done so we're gonna mostly finish up uh, these top strips anyways uh, we do have the bottom three yet and I might do those off camera we'll see uh, maybe that's what I'll do off camera and then uh, when we come back we can do field nine there uh, I may go and edit the PDA image um, like just open it in paint.net and put in field numbers uh, obviously if there's a field number on there in game uh, so like uh, you know field 10 field 11 field 9 field 2 I'll say is this you know, 6 7 8 you know those things like 3 is gonna be that one 4 I'll pick one of those two fields there you know for the ones that have the numbers on it I'll put it on there just so I kinda can keep track and then I'll just come up with numbers for all of these fields as well you know a number for each individual strip uh, part so you know these four or these five up here will be you know one two three four or excuse me these four so it'll be like for example one two three four and then five six seven uh, I'm not gonna say like this is one this is two this is three and then this little one is four um, you know, so we'll have, let's see, 14, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, um, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 fields total. Uh, 29 or 30 or something like that. So then, uh, you know, we'll be able to record uh, field edge paths and stuff like that. And I'll be able to keep track of what fields we are running a little better rather than right now I have strips corn 9 10 11 two smaller wheat field next to farm two three and field west of it beams I mean obviously I know what they mean right now but at some point in the future I may be like oh okay this is which fields again obviously the strips are pretty self-explanatory but 9 10 11 and the two small fields well that could mean field 5 and 14 or something like that um, you know in the future it may kind of confuse me but for the time I kind of know what I'm talking about um, and like I said so I'll go ahead and I'll edit that PDA image so I can uh, you know keep track of that a little better so we are down to our final top strip here so we should be able to uh, finish this or else get the majority of this one done. Definitely doesn't take long with this. Uh, I did have a save game on this map, or I do have a save game on this map. And I have a little uh, John Deere, I want to say it's like a 220 disc, and uh, it took me about an hour to do um, a strip and a half a, this like this whole strip uh, from all the way down there to the top and then cuz like I did this whole thing all the way down and then uh, the outside and inside or like the two outside passes on the second one it took me about an hour to do that so definitely much faster the way that we're doing it now versus then, uh, you know, that way. But, uh, yeah, so. I do have the uh, uh, plowing re periodic plowing required turned off because I don't really want to run plows. Um, and then I also have the fertilizer like how many times we have to fertilize set to one uh, just for the time uh, after we've harvested once then I will uh, change that to three but for now uh, I'm gonna leave it at one because then after we've combined uh, we can spray we can spray one round of fertilizer over the stubble and then uh, when we cultivate the chop straw in that'll add a layer and then uh, spraying again after planting or else cultivating then spraying in the spring before we plant planting going to grow stage and then spraying uh, that may also work too we'll figure something out uh, somewhere along those lines but in the second season then we'll uh, we'll be able to do three stages of fertilization um, yeah, so, plus our planters do have, well, uh, the drill anyways, uh, the Great Plains drill does have fertilizer, uh, application capability, abilities, geez, if I could talk, uh, correctly, it does have the capability of applying fertilizer, that's what I was trying to say there, uh, so, we do have that option as well. Uh, the Kinsey planner, I'm not positive if it has it. Uh, I've only used it a couple of times, the Kinsey, so uh, I don't exactly remember. So we are on our uh, last pass of these top strips, so we're not doing too bad. tractor is actually not using as much fuel as I thought it would uh, we got about five minutes left so about a, oh I say five to eight minutes per strip which isn't bad
realize I haven't even taken any screenshots recently or like since I started playing this session here so we're just gonna go ahead and jump across and go to this next strip and I know I know I'm leaving the cultivator down and going over the grass and blah 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 but oh well that's why it's a game not real life obviously I enjoy playing it realistically but Sometimes there's limitations. These strips are a little longer. Oh, crazy. Oh, excuse me. These strips are a little longer than the other ones uh, because they do come down farther. Uh, the road kind of splits them. I do really like this tractor though. Um, it may not look the greatest, but it doesn't look bad either. And uh, it, it does work pretty good. It pulls this cultivator pretty darn well. Oh, goodness. Would be nice if this game had beef in it though. Sadly that never got converted over from uh, 15. Would have been nice if it had though. I probably should have lifted it there, but oh well. yawning a lot all of a sudden now. So yeah, I will finish the strips off camera and then uh, when we come back we can work on field nine there and then uh, between now and when I film the next episode I will go ahead and adjust the PDA image as well uh, to have those field numbers on it um, I believe the way that CWJ set it up is that you buy field two and it gives you the strips and this field and then like field one gives you you know like these three fields or something and field four gives you those you know, you're buying the farms is kind of, I think, how he set it up. Um, and then it, you know, gives you the land around it. Um, which is kind of neat, but then at the same time, it kind of messes with things too. Uh, like for setting up course play courses and stuff like that to name things. And setting up field edge paths. Uh, you got to kind of come up with your own numbers there. Which, I mean, it's not like that's difficult or anything. It's just kind of a nuisance at times especially if you like lose track of things <clears throat> all 
Alright. Alrighty, guys. So. That is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see. And make sure you hit that post notifications button. And uh, it'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description. I got a whole bunch of links down there and all sorts of other stuff that you guys can go check out. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, as always, we'll see you in the next one.